Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined today with Hubby. Okay. And today we're doing fire. Fire, fire, fire. So I'm I, trying to remember how long ago did I start this one? It's been about nine months, I think. I finished the bison, I fi finished World Biography Month, I finished Xena, all in six weeks. I need to get this done for the Raven Show, hopefully. So that's why I'm picking this one back up. I need as many ravens as I can possibly get for the show. And what I've done since you guys have seen, I've done a little burning on the body and some of the raven. But I took sandpaper wrapped around a rougher block. I think I used 220. I could have used 320. And sanded down all of the dark area. And then I, this morning, wiped it down with denatured alcohol just to get the carbon off of it and kind of clean up the edges. So you're seeing this tape, and this tape is because I want to do a horizon line, but not an obvious horizon line, and this is about where I want it. So I wanted to make sure it was even with the board, because I kind of feel like she's floating. One of the things I regret is I should have brought her further down on the board, but can't change that now. So now you can see where some of the flame hit the um, grain differently, and that's going to always happen. It happened up here too. And if it sounds a little louder for the background, it's because I got the window open a little bit to let the smoke go out because this does get a bit smoky. I have my, I don't care if I mess up my clothes, clothes on. I didn't want my fuzzy pants getting dirty. And then I also have... Or bursting in the flames. <laughs> yeah, or bursting. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, What's the tape for for? That's my horizon line. I'm thinking... Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Thinking about putting a... Not... Silhouette of mountains a little bit behind her. Not very tall, but just to kind of put her in something. And then it should be lighter here where the mountain range would be. And then go darker as you go up. Though I do have a halo. Yeah, I've been having a problem with this one. I should have, should have worked things out more. What you can tell is the difference between the burning with the torch versus the burning with the pen. That makes a big difference. And when you're sanding, if you choose to do that, have something also in your lap to catch the what you're sanding off or under on, under your piece of wood because that's charcoal and you can draw with it. So, hey Amy, hey Sheila, Teresa, David, Spence, Greg, Barb, and I, Melissa. I was trying to think, did I miss somebody? Yes, I think I got them all. All right, so let's do this again. We got fire. So I have a question while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So when... Um, Whenever I airbrush, I have to be very, very careful about things like that on uh, the substrate because the overspray will create a hard line that I don't want, so I have to be careful with it. Are you looking to create a hard line, and do you have that same issue with fire? A hard line where? Well, like, say if you went down closer to the tape and the residual heat kind of emanated from the torch and created a... A break where the the tape protected the wood. I'm not exactly sure what it'll do. To be honest, I put it there just so I'd have a visual. Well, I'm curious. I'm not sure. I'm curious what will happen. I guess I ought to go ahead. I'm on the lowest flame, and I don't want to hit the tape because I know it's going to heat the glue onto the wood, and I don't want that. So I have to be careful with that. I'm just trying to get back into the fill of the torch. Because it's been a while since I've used it. So I do think I can go over the raven. Um, and the burning will still show. Alright, so mountains.
These are not exact. I didn't draw them in or not looking at anything either. Just need something there. And I have to watch how close I get to it, to the wood, because that's when you see it flame up like that. Mm -hmm. So you are looking at Crater Horizon line? Kind of, but not like way obvious. Okay. I'm going to have to clean up that because, well... I would check it to see. No, it's not too obvious. No. Okay. But if you notice, it does leave the tape. I'm okay. Take that off. Well, now I can see it though. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's subtle. Subtle enough. Mm. And unless is asking, the wood doesn't crack. This is a thicker piece of wood, so it shouldn't crack. This yeah. is like an inch and a half of basswood. Um, if it was really thin, then it could be an issue. There's one thing I wanted to try. This is going to be hot. Cool <laughs> you drop? My marbles. You've lost your marbles? I did. I knew it. I lost my marbles. I've known for a long time. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do is this comes with an attachment. I want to see if I can kind of spread it out more so it's not mm. so streaky. I'm going to have to stand up to do this. Okay, I can see the flame. It doesn't really spread it out as much as I thought it would. And I'm going to have it up. See, it certainly directs it. Okay, hopefully now you can, oh, I see. can see it. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't see it before. But yeah, it makes it more of a, a fan shape. Let's see how well it does with the wood. Now there's going to be stars in that raven. Are you going to do this? Technique that you demonstrated? No, because um, they're really big. So I'm going to probably carve those out. Okay. David says he just did his first freehand people burn and it looks great. Awesome! That's so awesome. I'm not seeing a difference with this. I can certainly smell the difference. Yeah, I can smell it. I just don't see it. Hmm. I can see that getting red hot with the flame. Hmm. Maybe I do have a little bit more control with it. Let's see. Let's try to get next to a raven. It's starting to get red hot. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a pain in the butt to try to take it off. Yeah, you definitely have to let it cool. Yep. Thing is, I may have to sand again. Just to try to smooth out. There she goes. Amazing. It's like she knows. Yes, she does. Let's see here. This side is smoother. And when I wiped it off with the denatured alcohol, I could really see how dark this is going to get. Yeah. So that was cool. If she keeps up the bark, you know, get her bed. I don't want to leave you with the torch going. Yeah. In case, in case you need to be extinguished. <laughs> Are you implying I would burn the house down? No. Well. Maybe a little. Hey. I wouldn't do it intentionally. Let's turn no, this off. Not. Yeah, see, that's getting real hot. Not doing what I wanted, though. 
I wanted to be able to have a little bit more control. I just realized I didn't actually visually locate the water bottle when it came in. I have now. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Safety didn't check for it? I know. I know. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Melissa says, uh, well, it's not Zena that wants a cookie, it's Mom. Yes. David says he wants a cookie. <laughs> you tried to give me a cookie the other day. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that you tried to give me a dog cookie the other day. I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I was doing like three things at once, I, and I was also getting the dogs a, a cookie, and I had the cookie in my hand, the dog cookie in my hand, and I went outside to talk to Val, and my brain switched over, and I was like, tried to hand her the cookie. <laughs> You came out to tell me coffee was right or making. Yes, that's what that was it. But mm -hmm. I tried to hand you the cookie. Yep. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Moon would have been very jealous. Hey, Troy. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, I'm I'm still updating Warframe, so uh, I haven't been on. So some of the grain just takes it differently. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this strip of grain here. Because it's coming out splotchy and hot. That's how cherry do you want to let that get? Mm. I don't know. I'm just asking. As long as I don't touch it, we're fine. Are you worried I'm going to touch it? No, no. I'm worried about it losing its shape or something. Oh, no. You shouldn't. Then I'm going to put it on my holder to let it cool off for a minute, move my pins away. Yeah. Yeah, careful not to... Yeah, as long as it's not going to roll. That was what I was worried about right but there. But it's staying right there because I've got it on the side. Okay. Alright, so while that cools... <sighs> what to do, what to do... I might try a little bit more sanding. Okay. Especially down here. So you're going to put something underneath there to catch the carbon? Yep. Okay. Old pillowcase. Because I don't want it everywhere. I think I'll stand while I do it. Thing is, I don't remember what grit of sandpaper I was using before. True grit. I think it was 220, but it may have been 320. Great. I'm pretty sure it was true grit. <laughs> you're awake today. Huh? You're awake today. I am on my... Third, no, fourth cup of coffee. What? Well, I had the leftovers Ugh. when I got up because of Xena. Because mm. Xena opened the gate that leads to down the hall to our bedroom and at five in the morning, well, no, not five in the morning, excuse me, three, three thirty in the morning, they were in there wandering around in the bedroom making noise and Xena was whining. So I got up took them out and then I fell asleep in the chair oh. out here for I didn't realize until that. five and I woke up and I'm like well it's too late <laughs> to go back to bed now <coughs> so I heated up that cup of coffee and then I made coffee when you got up and I have had two cup of coffee two cups of coffee gotcha. and then I, I just because we each always have two cups of coffee and then I finished off another pot. I mean, not another pot, another cup. Gosh. The last cup, like three quarters of a cup. Oh my God, I can't stop talking. I noticed that. All right, let's see here. So that's what it's going to look like. The 220 is actually not taking off as much as I thought. And I am kind of pushing it into the grain, so it actually kind of colors it too. And I may have to keep going over it until I get it the way I want it. And what I'll do is I'll wipe it off real quick where I've sanded. So you can see how much actually comes off. There you go. So I'll grab some denatured alcohol. This is going to make a mess. I don't normally stand for the lives. No, I would suggest that you do a slightly shorter live if you're going to stand. I think I'm going to go back and forth. Just getting the denatured alcohol. Ready. Cookie 
use the big torch. Haven't used that yet. Alrighty, so do you need to... What? I, I felt fear. <laughs> you felt fear? Is it on the big oh. torch? Yeah, it's right there. And do you really need it for this? So, I don't want to lose not. your image. It'd be like, Whoa. oh, it's gone. So that's just wiping off from that layer. But now you can also see how dark the burning is going to be. Once it's sealed. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? It's a big difference. It's a big square, big rectangle. Let's do that. They should also get that glue from the tape off. Oh, okay. Good. So, where I just use the torch but didn't sand, there'll still be carbon that comes off, but not nearly as much. That's a big difference. And that's why I put, there's a little bit on the little pillowcase on the floor, but you can save that uh, carbon and draw with it. In fact, you can save the carbon that you sand off with and make transfer paper. That's wow. completely safe. How would you do that? Just rub it on the back of your next pattern. Thanks, Troy. Hmm. Troy says he's going to call the fire department now. Let him get a head start. I'm good at this. I know. Ish. Yes. I'm safe. It's good. I'm just flipping my... So now I know how dark this is going to look it's still not smooth as I want it but there is going to be grass so what to do what to do what to do yeah I'm yawning because the coffee is competing with my actual level of tiredness sorry sorry for anybody on headphones <laughs> I'm trying not to be on though. Yeah. Alrighty. So that'll dry and you can see the difference in it drying. Let's see here. So I should hopefully be able to get this off now. I might use a paper towel. So this is going into the Raven Show? Hopefully, if it looks okay. How industrious are we? Why? Well, I've got a show going on, and you're going to have a show going on. Yeah. Uh, to hopefully two shows. It's elemental. Hopefully. That'll be October, or no, uh, November show. Alright. Now you gotta, be, I gotta get those prints made. Mm-hmm. Fix the website. Yeah. <laughs> Feed the cows. <laughs> No, it's feed the chicken, milk the cows. Milk the cows, yeah. Oh, it's almost that time of year. <gasps> Can we have it now? No. Well, we got to have it before the third. What? Have what? You know what. You talking about the decorations? Yes. No. Our grandbabies are going to be here. When? Uh, the fourth. The fourth, okay. Uh, before the third of October. Yeah, I said before the third oh, of October. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like they'll go, up, they'll go up on the first. What day is the first? I don't know. The first. <laughs> and it will definitely be a day that ends in D A Y. Let's see. I am like ninety percent sure of that. Ninety percent sure, huh? Yep. Let's Burl see. is here. Hey, bro. I'm having a hard time seeing. I'm trying to see the mountains. The girl says that no, that is me who has to feed the cows. Hmm. I believe that. That's true. I don't know why that I'm 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 talking about this, but it's probably because I'm hungry. What's that? But last night you made awesome. I dinner. made Chinese food, but I made General Tso's chicken the way that I like to make it. And it was an experiment, and I've never made General Tso's chicken before. When I say like to make it the way that I like it to taste, and I was surprised. 
I was really pleasantly surprised by it. So if I mess this up, I will end up sanding the whole board and putting something else on it. Oh. Don't lose her. Oh, that's a raven there. Yeah. I was going to say, don't lose that. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to get her. Are you safe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't set anything on fire. Well, I am burning something, so when you tell me don't set something on fire, that's Please very... do not burn outside the confines <laughs> of the board. <laughs> All right, so I was trying to pull in the halo. Remember, the, the sandpaper is going to be really dirty. I forgot about that. Let me move my stuff over so I can have a paper towel to lay it on. All righty. All right, what I'm going to do is see how much I can smooth going directly over the raven now if i have to touch up the raven i'm not worried about it I'm not worried about it so what's going to happen is you're going to see it get darker so what i'm going to have to do is go in with my eraser pull that carbon It took off a little of the burning, but not bad. And I can touch all that up. So I'm not worried about that. Let's see here. Let's try wiping. I really wanted to erase first before I wiped because then I'd be wiping that into the wood. So you've got to be careful. Oh. Okay, let me put my glasses back in. I do. I may just sand this whole damn board down. Why? Because I'm just not feeling it. I'm going to be honest, I'm just not feeling it. Huh. That's, you don't do that very often. I've never, I've done it once. Yeah. I just feel like I should have planned better. Would you say that, when, when was the last time you, when was the last time, now Layla is barking, I may have to pull him into the house, to keep it up. Um, would you say that in the time that you worked on this last, because it's been a while, mm -hmm. you, you, your techniques improved, and you see a different way of doing it? Or you're just not happy with the way it's going? I'm not happy with the way it's going. And the decision I've got to make is, do I want to hard sand this out, smooth out the board, put the pattern back on, and lower it, readjust it, or if I just push through, because it's always ugly in the beginning. Always, always, always. Well. And that's the hard decision. Do I? I would say push through because you'll learn something out of the process. You could still yeah. sand it down. And it just not going to show? Yeah. But I mean, at least you would learn, you know, you would learn more. For me, like when I, when I screw something up, which of course never happens. <laughs> but hey, why'd you laugh so hard? Because that was funny. When, you, when I screw something up, allegedly, um, it kind of frees me up to like fix it and experiment because it's already not where I want it. So then I have to mm, the glue, the glue figure out how to fix it. Although it is a little bit different with you because this is like way more permanent than what I do. I can always paint over or even sometimes remove the paint. So the glue's still on here. Um, well, this board just... You're not a jinx, David. No! I've been going back and forth on this, on the, for this one, for a while now. It has nothing to do with anything yeah, else. Amy says, follow your intuition. <laughs> Beryl says, Mr. Perfection. Talking about me? 
I was wrong once, Sparrow. I realized it. I thought I made a mistake, but then I was mistaken about that. <laughs> so, uh, nobody's perfect. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out if it... No, that's glue. If, if chat can see how many mistakes I've made <laughs> in actuality. See here. I don't know that the mountains are gonna really work. My paintings are a collection of mistakes arranged, arranged in a pleasing manner. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa is asking, is the Dremel torch listed in your Amazon store? It is. Mm, okay. This, this line is tape, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to take it off without taking everything else off. Says LOL, I just tried lighting two fires. Huh, 400 takes off and lightens it even more. David says, Happy accident, as Bob says. Yes, as Bob says, mm. all hail Bob. <laughs> yeah, okay. Glue right there. Hey, Troy. <laughs> Troy just called me out. Oh, I'm sure he did. Troy says, Took him long enough. Mister, that's good enough. <laughs> Took him long enough. I'm laughing because it's true. I'm so not a perfectionist. But I need to be. And and actually being being with Val has really forced me to up my game because in the past I would be like, eh, that's good. Nobody will notice that mistake. <laughs> but then when Val comes in my studio and I'm painting, she's like, oh, did you, make, did you mean to make that nose like that? I'm like, what? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he gets very cranky. I do, but it's all, it's truth though. Like, I know that you're, you're going to see the mistakes immediately, so. It's not like I try to, that's just how my brain I works. I, I see it on everything. I mean, we were at the art show, and I saw it on other people's art. Yes, that is true. She was, she was. Ooh, wet. wet. What's wet? Too wet. Too wet. Too wet. No. What's going on? Cute fire. I want to say another cuss word. What is this? Oh yeah, you don't want to light that. Well, no, I got my Q-tip too wet. You'll clean burn the hell out of that. <laughs> no, I got it too wet. Mm. It'll dry, and it's on the burning. So that's what we're seeing is the burning. But for a second, that reaction was it felt like almost ink flowing oh. down. David said, I set the rug on fire. <laughs> Melissa says, well, if you don't like it, you can send it to her. <laughs> well, I wanted something out of it. And so the, honestly, to me, burning a dark scene is the hardest. And I say that because trying to get the lighting... So you're not so dark on your subject, but at the same time, it feels like night. So I have been working towards that my pretty much my whole art career, like doing night sky scenes, and and because I think that those are the most atmospheric. In uh, in the fancy art terminology, they're called nocturnes. Which means something at night. But, um. <laughs> Troy says rugs are overrated, David. <laughs> so I want this glow outer. It's not a full moon, it's more, more of a half moon. And with our brightest hitting on this side, we've got the three, uh, four stars. One, two, three, five stars, which is the Corvus, um, I don't think of the word. What are we talking about? <laughs> no, I heard Corvus, but I'm not sure yeah, what you're talking Yeah, Constellation. To. That's the word oh, I was looking for. okay. That's the word I was looking for. I'm going to have to burn that tape on further. He's not wanting to come off. Oof. I'm really not wanting to take a knife to it, but... Maybe. So tape. See, I just took the carbon off. Hmm. Girl's having trouble starting her fires. 
Huh? It's freezing. It's freaking cold up there. It's uh, freaking cold, Mr. Bigglesworth. It's not cold here. No. It's getting there. It's getting a little it's cool. cool. It's nice. It's cool. What, what we used to do, Barrow, is we would take like a two-cycle bottle of oil, like you use for like chainsaws and things like that, and um, punch a little hole on top of it, and uh, like there'd be like a little bit of two-cycle oil, and then we'd mix uh, gasoline with that and use it as a fire starter. So we just squirt that on the wood, because like when it's 20 below, you need to have that like intense heat to get the fuel going. Gasoline. Hmm. It's my childhood. <laughs> Gasoline and bears. In moose. That's moon that sounds like a sea lion. And if she keeps at it, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door. Who's asking? Oh, yeah. He very much sounds like a seal. Yeah. He's a hound dog. He's an 11 and a half year old hound dog. So he's a pain in the butt. Do we want to talk about meeting your fellow YouTuber? Marty? Yeah. I don't know if any of them know Marty. Well, that was cool. Yeah, Belle had her first ever YouTube meetup. Not intentionally. It wasn't like. It was two YouTubers and their loved ones coming together. More like that. <laughs> well, you can tell it while I'm thinking. I'm trying to problem solve. Well, they they uh, had to be here for business, and so down in Phoenix, they stopped yeah. stopped through. So got to talk to them and meet them. Uh -oh. That was really cool getting getting to meet someone that we previously only seen in video. Well, I've talked to Marty. So the YouTuber is Marty Owens Owings Art on YouTube. Um, he hasn't been uploading in a while, but he does product review and a few other things. Him and, it, him and his wife are super Susan, nice. yeah. yeah. It was awesome to have dinner with him. So see, if you come to Flagstaff, we'll meet you. Yep. trying to get rid of that line. I can't use my piece of glass because I don't have a way to hold it flat and not... No. What about... Oh no, you need a, you need a, a straight line, don't you? I would be I, careful. I'm going to be careful. You're going to have to angle that away from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, that worked. Yeah, it did. Well, I'm not straight on that one. I'll have to, when I'm sitting down, I'll redo it. So, yeah, it is more similar to airbrushing. See, I want a glow to this, but at the same time, you gotta know it's dark outside. I would love to come to Canada, there's fence. We had to bring our oldest. I know. He wants to move to Canada. We'd, yeah, uh, we'd have to... And we'd have to take him during hockey season. We have to figure out somebody to house with the dogs. <laughs> Troy says, don't go to Flagstaff, you get stuck for days. That's only you. That's Marty got out just fine. Yeah, but he didn't use the airport. I'm pretty sure our airport's just for show. <laughs> no, you come in February when the storms are coming through. Let's see here. What to do? You guys are looking at it in a different way than I am. That's true. So I need to back up and look at the camera. Oh, that looks like crap. Let's see here. Ooh, and then you can see all my counter mess. Yay! Mm, That's mm -mm. a mark of a working artist. <sighs> Barrel says it's always hockey season. Mm -hmm. What to do? 
Yeah, I would love to go to Canada and meet <coughs> meet some of our oh, yeah. YouTube friends, some of your toasties, and get some poutine, <laughs> spend some duck bucks, and I'd make a pilgrimage to Digital Extremes. <laughs> yeah, but they're on the other side of the country from Burrow and Spence. That's why it's a pilgrimage. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Greg has to go. Bye, Greg. I, I wrapped an eraser in here just so it's easier for me to hold and control. Okay. Now you really see the carbon. Okay, I was using uh, 400 grit when I sanded back the first time. That's why I had more carbon. I'm trying to go with the grain. It almost feels like drawing with charcoal. Alright. I really need to smooth out. Now I got a mess. See, you can see me moving the carbon around. Mm -hmm. And then... Well, that's kind of cool. That's what I'm saying, you can make your own transfer paper. Then I need to carefully curve it off, make sure my brush is clean. Alrighty, and I need to open the duty to make sure alcohol again. I need more because now I can clean off, hopefully, we'll see, some of the graphite that I smeared around. Oops, sorry. I just get going and don't even think about headphones. And normally I'm wearing headphones. Oh, right. Don't fall asleep I'm on me. Struggling. You want to sit by while next to the piece while I torch? That'll keep you awake. No. You'll hear it. I can hear it now. Shall I tickle you? No! Shall I tickle you? Away! Shall I tickle Away, you? Away, devil woman! <laughs> Wipe! I think you get poutine everywhere, Spence. I mean, in Canada. And you can get it in Europe, too. I'm surprised that we don't have it more in the U.S. because it's delicious. I'm sure they do have it up in like Minnesota and Wyoming. In fact, I know they do up in Minnesota because that's where the cheese curds come from. Mm. Well, I would imagine that there would be a ton of it in Wisconsin then. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mm. Got my locations wrong, so I'm erasing the carbon. Let's see how clean I can get it. I wiped off with the alcohol. trying to stay more in the dark area because it is going to smear. I've driven through Canada three times. My only other option on this besides continuing, <laughs> starting over, would be carving it out. Sorry, I just realized I'm saying random things <laughs> while you're sticking the topic. Well, only because I'm thinking. I'm trying to make sure I think out loud so everybody can hear what I'm thinking. You're like, hmm, my carbon is sticky here, and I'm like, boats are great. <laughs> Put that dry. Don't hit the wood with the torch until the... Um, if you wiped off with the alcohol until it's dry. I drink all the coffee, David. There is no more. That. Still have a hot spot there. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Uh, you know, on the. To me, it looks salvageable. Hmm. Why does it look salvageable? I can't say it to you. Why? I don't mm -hmm. know, it just does. Well, but I'm then again, I don't have the, the vision that you do. And 
you know exactly what you're going for. No, I don't. That's part of the problem. Oh. That is part of the problem. I thought I had a vision. Let's see here. I think I can get my halo more blended out. I have learned that I should not paint when I have no vision. Well, I had one, but I don't like it. I don't think. I can't can't see it anymore, I should probably say. Alright. So eraser. Let's see how much of a halo. Uh, what am I gonna do with this? My other option would be to just sew this and paint over it. So that's another option. Barrel says, uh, transfer paper. Amazon doesn't have the six pack walnut hollow graphite paper until further notice. Oh. The single pack is around five bucks and on walnut hollow side it's two forty nine. Hmm. I don't remember who the vendor was for the Amazon. It means I need to update my Amazon page. Alright, so this is 400. Let's see. It really knocks the burning back even more. And then I'll go back over it with the torch. time that I've gone, I've gone gone through the Yukon, um, so the most western route as opposed to the more established route, the newer route that I guess is like much faster now. Like I haven't been on it since they've like improved that, that highway. I went through once when I was like 10 or 11 and then the other two times I went through when I was an adult. Try this again. So we end up going through BC and then um, the Yukon until it pretty much took took junction. Then you come back to well, I guess no, the Haines. It's been so long. Yeah, Haines Junction is is where you hit Alaska. Again. Yeah, the four hundred is. Taking more off than the 220. But it also means smoothing it out more. And then I'll brush it off. I'll try again. Good thing I didn't wear my good fuzzies. Yeah, there's a brand new highway. They put it in over a decade ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's because the old highway was was pretty pretty beat up. And there was a lot of frost damage, and there was a lot of um, the highway was like pretty bumpy. And then in parts where you go through some of the mountains, it actually like broken away and it was kind of dangerous but that was a while ago all righty let's try this again i'm gonna have to go in with the little knife and clean out any cracks before i seal this for now let's get back to this let's see here still not smooth 
It looks a lot smoother to me, though. I know, you know, you, you know, even on the monitor, the, you can see the variation. But it looks smoother than it did. I'm trying to get the. Yeah, see, very messy. Don't wear your good clothes. You're wearing black clothes. That's why I did it. <laughs> so I figured even if it got on me, I wouldn't see it. <coughs> that is what this is that Zeppelin shirt is for. I have to be careful watching it, wearing it. You want to see why? Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, that's a very holy shirt. <laughs> right, so, yeah, actually, surprisingly enough, it looks better in person, smooth-wise, than it does on camera. All righty. Let's see here, my eraser. Oh, yeah, White Horse. I, I've been through there each time that we've gone. White Horse is a nice town, but, like, everybody's so friendly in the Yukon. At least everybody that I met was really friendly. It was a pretty harsh contrast from BC. From BC everybody was kind of uptight. Yeah, it was really really different. So. Alright, you can see a little bit where I'm erasing. Kind of cleans it up a little better. Beryl says you need a vacuum uptake. I got so much stuff already in my studio. Ideally, like, we would like uh, to make a shop for Valerie that had, like, a central vacuum kind of in ventilation so that she could... Sanding station? Yeah, so that she could have prep station and, you know, several, several workstations. And, I, and, like, find a place to, like, you know, clear coat our you know, art and... and like something nicer, more comfortable, and more specific than, than a garage, like something with windows all around. So. Well, I've been doing a lot of my stuff outside. In the winter, I won't be able to do that. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't try to get this burn even so that when I sand, it's just the grain that shows with the heat. I don't, I don't know. Huh. Spence says he dreads doing backgrounds because his is always boxy. It, you, you turn down your heat and slow down. And Melissa says it's beautiful, but I'm learning that I will never try this. <laughs> oh no, you should try it. Because maybe there's something you would like it with better. That I like that grain, so I'm wondering. You know, I wonder. I wonder. Let's turn this off. What if you try to do a piece with nothing but the torch? Oh, I, that's what the big torch is for. Um, okay, so what I'm wondering is if I should not sand back as smooth as possible this whole board so that it's tinted but more of the grain stands out and then do the burning on top okay hmm hmm <laughs> oh if you guys got netflix watch the dark crystal the series is awesome yeah it's so good Alrighty. Taking back to my childhood. Yeah, but it's even better actually than the movie. Yeah, it's actually got a lot more, a lot more characters, a lot more plot. Story, more. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Alright, so I'm going to hit it with 221st. Girl wants to know, did you ever try that torch pin? The torch pin. I thought you had a torch pin. That's what I'm using. Uh, I'm wondering if she's actually talking about these. 
Are you talking about the scorch pen? And no, I haven't done them yet. I was thinking I need to get that done. If that's what she's talking about. Uh, Teresa says she's watched it. It's really good. Well, we're gonna. I'm at. We're both talking about actually doing fan art from the movie. Yeah. So we're watching the movie. In fact, we're on the last episode tonight. Because somebody had to watch three episodes the other night and throw off our numbers. It was not. You did it, and then you gave me a poopy eating grin. Really? Yes, you did. All right. Let's see. Here we go. That's a pinion try. I really don't want to try to place this pattern back on the board. So that's why I'm not doing it with a... Uh, orbital sander. This way I have control of where it goes. And then I'll go back over it with the 400. Now I do have less carbon coming off of it than I did before. Yeah, I think this is going to have to work out better. Oh, got to hold it. Let me know when you want to get the clues. Oh, you can do the clues now. So, the celebrity portrait. Clues. Let's recap. So, we have... Is the male. Ouch. Hair is an iconic part of their style. They're not dead. They're very much alive. They're not a musician. They're in entertainment. They're on American TV, but not network TV. Uh, not a clown. Uh, no relation to clowns. So, uh, dark hair. No gray hair. He has facial hair. The show that he's on is a reality type show. He's from the Midwest. He has long hair. So I guess if you Have want to give him the colors? Those, huh? Yeah, dark hair. Okay. So he has long dark hair, yes. Um, Sorry, I was... And he is a fan of, we'll say, non-contact sports. Would yeah. That would be that correct? So yes. more like performance-oriented sports. In fact, when he was younger, he participated uh, in one of these sports in school. Okay. And that Valerie is giving me the wave off. So. <laughs> That's enough. Give it away too soon. Right. Though we're going to get close to giving it away here in the next couple of weeks. Yep. Oh All yeah. Right. So we're going to do uh, we're going to do fan art. And I think oh, that's right, yes. So you're going to do... Um, well, I'm hoping to actually do a couple pieces because there's a couple characters in Dark Crystal that I just love. I love Agra. I love uh, Hop. Hop. And... Yeah, Deet. There was another one I said. Wasn't there? Yeah, Agra was first. I think I'm going to end up doing Skeksis. Well, I do expect to have the Skeksis in my piece. You're taking all of them. I'm not taking all of them. You do your thing. Can I do Rianne? I, I don't care what you do. Why are you... It's, it's not a... You do whoever you want to do. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna do it. Um, one of the sexies. So you could still see my horizon line. You know, I could burn this in, clean this up, and then drip ink. Ooh. So you know you're getting an idea. To drip ink to. I'd have to seal the board first. 
So this has become a multimedia project. Well, maybe. I don't know. Wingman says, morning. Hey, Wingman. Now, where is Wingman that it's morning? Or is... Technically, it, it's still before is it, noon. Is here. it morning? Yes, it is. By three minutes. <laughs> okay. I guess that's right. So I won't go any further into it. I think I was ever thinking it happens when I get tired. Actually, I think he's on this side of the country. He's in California, I think, or Nevada. Okay. Alrighty. So I think I'm going to try to highlight the grains. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I said subconscious yawn. I'm so sorry. Okay, cover your face because this is a lot of carbon bouncing around. Okay. Robert Fisher says, hey, Evening Robert. from the United Kingdom. And Wingman's from San Diego. San Diego. That's, um... <laughs> you know what's coming now. <laughs> At least I do. Go for it. Do it. That's, no, I don't, I don't want to say that. But I might be out of line. I can't remember. What, what is it? San Diego. But I'm not going to whisper. They're going to hear you. No, I don't. Mike is more sensitive than you think. <laughs> you uh, can tell me. Anyway. I can't remember the line. I don't, I don't think anybody knows what it means anymore. <laughs> so, uh, but that's not what you were going to say. No, it's not. I can't remember. In the com in the chat, write down if you know Anchorman what he says about the meaning of Santiago. 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 Um, Where they all forgot. <sighs> Stay classy. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Troy hates that. Troy hates oh, that's right. That. Sorry, Troy. I forgot about that. Oh well, I don't. This is my live stream. <sighs> Sorry guys, I really expected... What is that line Well, we're there? seeing progress, but it's like lateral progress. Well, what you're seeing is me trying to work this thing out. <sighs> Not me. It's your alarm. Oh, it's my alarm for... Yeah, so I think... What I'm going to do, because I have been standing here for a while, I actually ended up standing up the whole time. Ah, uh, Teresa, look up. Look up, look up, look up. There. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can buy food. Oh, don't tell them that. <laughs> do not tell I'm them that. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Teresa. It was very generous. Don't tell them that. Even if it's true, you wouldn't tell them. So I switched over to 400. I'm trying to see what grain. I think it's whole grain. Yeah, I know. Yes, I do know what you did there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in thinking mode because I'm trying to figure out how to get myself out of the situation. Boring. Ow. I know. That was not ow. Yes, Beryl, the whale quote. Yes, the whale quote. Is it Wells Vagina? Yes, you said it. See, oh. I was going to say that. I was going to, I was going to keep the live stream classy. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> That's so true. I'm not ashamed <laughs> of the word vagina. Half of us have them. Alright. Now let's see how many of the guys just blanked out. Their brains kind of fried and shut down for a moment and they need to reboot. Yeah, see, it's happening right now. I'm watching the reboot in process, in progress. What are you talking about? Not me, I hope. <laughs> My reboot is from sleep deprivation, that's all. Alright. So I guess what I'm going to do is I will continue to work on this. Daryl says yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what next week is. Uh, next week is... Um, yeah, I don't know what burning or what we're doing next I week. I ruined my joke. You cut me off. Oh. 
what I can try to do is get this one done. I know I do. I know. And then if I'm going to add color, we'll look at adding color next week. Troy says he's keeping his mouth set as well. Well, there's a first for everything. Actually, he, he took your side the other day. <laughs> Which time? I, I was talking about arguing with you, with you, and he's like, well, if you if you wouldn't always test her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a very true statement. All right. Who, oh, before we leave, who wants to see the finished bison? The bison is done being burned. Ugh. Is well, I'm pretty sure they're all going to say yes. Well, I, gotta I would be fingers. deeply disturbed and surprised if they're saying, no, still... <laughs> let's not see the bison. I still need Don't to show see... it to us. I still Never need... show the bison. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. Uh, it's two years, but it's done burning-wise. I still need to seal it. And I'm wiping my hand off with damp paper towel, so when I touch the bison, I'm not spreading the... Age of Resistance Barrel. Yes. Awesome. Awesome show. Alrighty, here we go. And if you like Muppets and you like the original Dark Crystal, then it's no brainer. It's very good. Yeah, it's if even you, better. If you don't care for Muppets or the original Dark Crystal. Who are you? It's probably not gonna it's probably not gonna sell you on it. I don't know, it's still good. It is very good. It's, even it's if a you're good not... story. Alright. So I still need to I still need to to seal the bison, I'll be using glossy. And then we decided that the little bit of leaf that I'm putting on is actually going to be the copper leaf because the gold was too close to the color of the wood. And it's not going to be a whole lot of... Let's see here. Let me figure out these so we can see the best. There we go. It's darker than it looks because of how everything's hitting it. Once I seal it and get a better photo, I'm trying not to touch. I've got carbon all around here. So there we go. I finally finished. Only took two years to do. It is signed. People ask how people sign the work. I initial my work. And then I sign the back and date it. So that's what I do. So years, well, I should say hundreds of years from now, that's how they're going to identify your work. They're going to be like, this was found in a, <laughs> this was found in a, in a, a, a home on the moon. <laughs> and they didn't know where it came from, but they took the back off and they found this signature. We know it's an original Valerie. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Amy. Thanks, Troy. And Barb. And Teresa. And Spence. And Burl. Burl says he needs a girlfriend. Now. Yeah, I see that. So what I did was I printed him out. And then I used gold pen to figure out where I was going to put what. So these suns aren't going to exist. I'm actually going to put a sun here that's setting. And I'm just going to hit the top of that grain to make it look like a mountain. <laughs> Shut up, Troy. <laughs> he's, I try to cover he's, that up. He's I know what he's, he's doing. Messing with you. And David asked me the same, or said the same thing last week, and I posted a work in progress. And then I'm going to put some grass in his hair highlight some of the fur here and then the leaf I darkened and I'm going to hit that with a little copper. So it's just, oh, and a little bit, just tiny bit of copper hitting the top of the horns. So that is my plan. Let's we'll see if it really happens because I may seal it and to get too nervous and then not do. No, you need to do that. Ugh, well, it's due to be done by by Thursday. I think it's Thursday. When's the 20th? Mm -hmm. Ugh, I don't keep track of time. Ugh, I know you don't. It's not about time. Let's see here. The inter Yes, so I want it done by Thursday so I can take really good photos uh, of the piece in order to get it into the show. Oh, I have an, I have an, an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. So do we have any questions? 
tray is going to make me so self-conscious about it. I darkened it in places so it wouldn't look like that. Damn it. It does look like the source. So, you know what? I think that... The source. I don't think that people will see it. You know what? You can, you can point out anything. See, that's what it looked like on the photo. Yeah. My hair is not perfect, but it looks like one. Not my fault. It's not your fault. I can't do it. <sighs> so, I get this done. If I'm adding color next week, we'll do color on this one. Because I actually have some inks I want to try on here. Uh, they're uh, stained glass inks. So I want to see how that looks. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we shall figure it out. I'll get this smooth. And if we don't have any more questions, I want to make sure that you remember that you are awesome. You can do this. You're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. Yay. Bye. I'm going to sleep so hard.